it's time to deal with the fallout of what happened on Vermeer. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. He's become a slave to the Reapers, and he can't even see it. He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. What? That's it? Nothing? Oh, man. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Really sure Ashley has something to say about it. Oh, what's he doing here? It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. Lieutenant Alenko's actions will not go unnoticed. His sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. He knew what the risks were. Of course. A grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we will have the opportunity to work together again someday. Right. Commander? About Lieutenant Alenko, how are you holding up? Can't say I'm better. Sorry for anything I said back there. I just... I don't want any deaths on my hands, and it's my fault. Every one of us is expendable if it accomplishes the mission. Alenko, you, me. I know. If we hadn't gotten pinned down, you would have been there to help him. Um, if you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on Akuz? That's a good question, actually. I have no fucking clue. We accept death when we put on the uniform, Chief. If you can't deal with that, retire. I could never do that. Not before and definitely not now. I have to be worth Caden's life. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Rifles don't maintain themselves. Not yet, anyway. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. Right. Oh, uh, hell, I think I have to update my shit. Oh, some more high explosive as well. Yep. Even though she'll never use them.
gonna give him explosive rounds. Because why not? And the rest we sell. Easy. Well, not really, but... Looking for supplies? And that's how you made, make 8 million credits. Which you really don't have anything to spend on. Because, you know, reasons. Anyway... Let's get on with it. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. About time. Took them long enough. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, ma'am. Hey, yo. It's about damn time. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. Isn't that a bit not enough? You think a blockade's gonna stop him? He's on Ilos <clears throat> looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus Systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The Conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. You have fucking shit under control. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. Ignorant cocksuckers. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. 
Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. You backstabbing piece of shit. Nobody stabs me in the back, Udina. Nobody. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Fucking asshole. Commander. Shepard. I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. Assholes. Ludina couldn't wait to stab me in the back. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything, everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. I should have known better. Udina, the Council, they're all the same. Petty, blind, and stupid. Perhaps we could appeal, and get them to reverse their decision. I don't need you yapping in my ear while I'm trying to figure out a way to fix this. I... I am sorry, Commander. I was only trying to help. I'm sorry, Liara. I just don't know what to do next. You'll think of something. You always do. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. Oh, here we go. Finally, my hard work is paying off. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. Jesus fucking Christ, Joker. Master cock blocker at work. What did he want? Only said to meet him in that club in the wards. Flux. You should probably go meet with him. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The, the commanding you? officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Mm. Any squad points? Yep. I have might as well give her the Snipper, even though she'll never use it. Alliance officials report that a Geth incursion into the Armstrong cluster has been repulsed, with the Geth suffering heavy casualties. In the event of future Geth activity, the Alliance plans to maintain a strong security presence in the area. Yep, that was me. Didn't get any credit for it, but uh, it was me. What's up, Captain? I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard what happened. The Normandy's been grounded. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. 
Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. What's the plan? I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That is a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. There's got to be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He's not going to let you waltz into his office and use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. Udina won't let this slide, Captain. You'll be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Just take the break into his office just because it's gonna be worth seeing you punch that backstabbing cocksucker in the face. Yep, yep. You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The Ambassador has made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Yay, I have to stand through the elevator scene again. Yeah. Pardon me, soldier. Can I take a moment of your time? Yeah, no, sorry. Galaxy to save and whatnot. Alliance officials have raided a dangerous cult controlled by a former Alliance officer, Major Kyle. Major Kyle surrendered and is now being treated for severe post-traumatic stress disorder. That was me as well. You know. Just, 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 just in case you didn't get that first. And I'm in the elevator going up, up, up and away. Yeah. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Oh, here we go. Anderson? What are you doing here? I didn't set... Mm. So worth it. <laughs> Let's go. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. Here we come. Oh shit. Pretend that never happened. I'm professional. Hero.
Oh, I think I'm about to get lucky. Shepard, may I speak with you? <clears throat> I was just thinking about you. I have been thinking about you too. And what we are about to face. I do not know what is going to happen on Ilos. I hope we will stop Saren, of course, but part of me fears we are already too late. There is something I must tell you, in case we fail. We're not going to fail, I promise. Please, I am not looking for comfort. Saren might already have the conduit. It is time to be completely honest with each other. These could be our last moments together. Our last chance to show each other how we feel. I want this to be special. We don't have to do this. Not unless you're sure. I have never been more sure of anything in my life. Will you join with me, Shepard? Let our bodies and minds unite. Yes. <laughs> what do you mean, forget it? Fuck yes. Just tell me what to do. Sexy time. By the goddess. That was incredible, Shepard. Let's go. <laughs> Ready for round two? <laughs> Commander? Five minutes ETA to the Mew Relay. I had better go. Duty calls. You would not want to keep Joker waiting. Shepard, whatever happens on Ilos, I just wanted to say thank you for everything. Commander, we've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least a hundred meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is twenty. Twenty meters? No way we can make a drop in there. We have to try. Find another landing zone! There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker. Drop us right on top of that bastard. Why is everyone screaming? Let's see. Get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. 
There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We will have to find some way to get it up and running again. I love the, I love the music uh, on Ilus. Right, so uh, yeah, let's see what happens next. 